Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Anne from the Sussex Handmade Soap Company and together with my good friend and business partner Wayne, we run this YouTube channel and the sussexsoap.co.uk website. Now before we get into what we are doing today, I just want to draw your attention to a small change we have had on this channel. Some of you may have noticed in the beginning, in the bottom left was a little tag saying that this video includes paid promotion. I just want to kind of clarify for you guys what that actually means. Do not worry, we are not going to be spending 20 minutes promoting a product that we don't believe in or have never used just to earn a quick bit of cash. That is not what we are doing at all. Basically, the includes paid promotion tag is there because we have signed up to the Amazon Associates program which means that in our video description you will be able to click on a link to go to an Amazon storefront with products that we recommend and that we personally have used and you will see us using in our soap making videos. Uh, this is beneficial for both you guys and for us because for you it means that you can find things that we have been using really easily at the click of a button and everything will be grouped together in nice little categories that makes it easy for you to kind of find exactly what you want and it is beneficial for us because it means that if you click on those links and purchase something we earn a small commission at no extra cost to you which helps us to kind of continue funding this channel. So there is not going to be any kind kind of blatant advertising in the actual videos, it is just going to be the links in the description that that message is relevant to. However, on that subject, I would like to say that I don't know how I've managed to survive my life without this beautiful fake gold statue of a flamingo. I'm only joking. Quite a cool flamingo though, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, back to today's video, now we have covered that, we are creating a limited edition soap that is going to be up for sale on our website in most probably June, possibly July, June or July time. We are going with a piped design with a in the pot swirl. We are using shades of blue and we have got a little bit of eco glitter too. That's today's video, you'll see what we're doing in it, so check it out now. So starting today as always with our cooled lye water going into our melted solid and liquid oils. The temperature we are working at today is around about 115 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to bring this to a emulsion and then we are going to split it down into two separate jugs. So now we are at an emulsion, I'm going to split this down into two jugs. They don't need to be exact, I'm going to do roughly 50-50, but I'm not going to weigh because it doesn't matter if they aren't exact. So I reckon that's about half, or thereabouts. Pour into the second one. Nearly forgot, need to reserve just a small amount in this jug here for some piping we're going to be doing on top later. So. Just tipping a small amount, a very small amount, nothing huge at all, into this third jug here, which we're going to pop to the side and then colour later on for some piping. Now it's time to colour one portion of the batter and we are using Hollywood Gaze Mica Powder here. We have got 0 0.8 grams and I'm just going to tip that into our first jug here. The second jug is staying uncoloured so we don't need to worry about that one. And I'm just going to bring back in the stick blender and we're going to use it to whiz in this blue colour and bring it to a light trace. So now we have added in the Hollywood Gaze and to be honest I'm not entirely happy with the blue that we have got here. I'd like it a bit more vibrant. So this is the blue we were actually reserving for the top portion of the soap, the piping, but there is quite a lot of mica there to not a lot of batter. So what I'm going to do is just sprinkle in a little of this mica that we had reserved for the top, saving just enough for the top of the soap later on and then I'm going to whiz this in and hope that it brings it down to a nicer, bluer colour. Uh... 
So I'm a bit happier with this blue now, so I'm going to move on to the uncoloured portion and I'm just going to use a stick blender to bring that to a similar sort of trace as the blue, so a light trace. Now that both portions have been brought to a light trace, I'm going to add in our fragrance oil. Today we are using Winter Berries by Candle Shack. I've used this fragrance oil before to test and it doesn't accelerate and it doesn't discolour. So that is a massive bonus and also it smells really, really lovely. It is a fresh, fruity, delicious smell. It is one of my top five fragrance oils I think. I just absolutely love this scent whether it be in soap or body products or indeed in candles. It just smells absolutely beautiful no matter what you put it in. So now we are going to do a very simple in the pot swirl to mix these two colours together. So I'm going to hold my jug up nice and high, probably about ooh, 18 inches, two foot above the blue portion and then I'm just going to kind of drizzle one portion into the other. Just blending them together like that. And now it's time to get them into the mould. And now all I'm going to do is pour this down into the mould and it will swirl again even further as I pour into the mould. And just filling it right up to the top and just levelling the surface a little with the spatula. Now we're going to pop this to one side to firm up just a little and while it firms up we're going to prepare our piping for the top and I'm going to show you the decorations that we've got to go on top today as well. So coming back to our reserved small amount that we're going to use to pipe on the top and we have got the remainder of the Blue Mica Tropical Temptations this one is called from Resonate and I'm just going to tip the mica into the reserve soap batter and then I'm going to mix it in with the spatula, bring it to a thick trace because we want to pipe with it and then we're going to decant it into a piping bag ready for piping on the top of that soap. Now I'm going to pop this to one side just to firm up a little and I'm going to show you the decoration we've got for the top of today's soap. So today we're going to be decorating our soap top with a selection of piped roses in different shades of blue. I piped these roses a couple of days ago so they are nice and firm now and ready to be used on top of the soap and I'm actually going to show you how I piped these roses now. So I'm using three different colours of mica to create my roses and the first is Hollywood Gaze by Resonate for this medium size rose. You'll see I'm not wearing a glove on my left hand. The reason for that is that it just created too much resistance when I was trying to twist the cake needle. I am wearing the glove on my right hand and any time I needed to touch the batter or move the roses I used my glove right hand to do that. To create the roses I used a tip number 61 and I'm just piping individual petals around a central bud. It's pretty quick and easy. My piping skills are definitely not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. So if I can do this, anybody can, honestly. On to rose number two now, and this is in color Dreamy Aqua Marine, also from Resonate. So I piped that central bud, and now I am just going around that bud, piping individual petals and I pipe each petal and I twist the cake needle at the same time and that is what is helping to create the kind of rose shape and the rose effect. This is the biggest of the three roses. I wanted a nice large kind of statement rose. When it is on the soap it will end up being cut in half because it is going to be larger in diameter than the actual soap bars but that's not a real problem. I just wanted something kind of nice and large and eye-catching on top of that soap. As you can see, I am just continuing to build up the rows by piping more and more petals along the outside until I am happy with the size and shape of the finished rows. 
on to the final rose now which is in the colour Tropical Temptations and it's just a small rosebud. So we've got our central bud there and then we are just doing three individual petals and that will be it for this rose and that is how I piped our three different roses. So the final touch to these roses is some ultra fine eco glitter in silver. Uh, I'm adding this for a couple of reasons. The first being that it is on our assessment, so I have to. And the second being that I want to call this design kind of like iced roses or something along those lines. And I think that the silver really helps to give them a kind of iced frosty look. Um, this is, to be honest, probably more of a winter time so, but, but I'm doing it for our June release because Ah, oh, that's just how I roll. <laughs> so I've got a little kind of makeup brush that I have decided to use for soap instead of makeup. And all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the glitter on the tip of the brush. And then I'm just going to gently brush it onto the roses. So there is just a touch of glitter on each rose. And moving on to the smaller little rose buds, I'm just going to do exactly the same to them and then I'm going to work my way along all of the roses and top all of them with a, just a touch of this eco glitter. So we have now dusted all of the roses with the glitter and I think they look really pretty. Hopefully the soap and the soap piping have now both had a chance to firm up a little so we can pull back in the mould and start piping the top design and then top it with these flowers. So both the soap and the piping have now firmed up enough for me to be able to start piping our top design. I haven't really thought too much about what I'm actually going to pipe. I think I'm just going to go with some swirly lines to perhaps represent branches or just something a little artistic. Most of it will probably be covered by the flowers anyway, so let's wing it and see what happens. So now we have piped on the top, we're going to start adding in our roses and I'm going to start with the big ones and I'm just going to place them wherever they happen to land. There is no rhyme or reason to the placing of these. Just pressing them gently down into the soap. And I know that I have got eight large roses so I'll probably try and get all of them on. just pressing them down into the batter. So now I've got the large roses on, we are going to move down to the medium sized roses. I know I've got 13 of these. So again, just placing them wherever I fancy. I've got 13 to fit on. Again, I will try and get them all on, which I guess is gonna mean kind of placing them a little bit closer together than we did with the larger roses. And now it's time to move on to the smallest of the roses, those kind of really cute little rose buds. And I am just going to fill in the rest of the gaps with these. I haven't even counted how many of these I've got. I think it is around about 20-ish. We may or may not use all of these. There may be some left over, it doesn't matter if there is. But again, just working my way back down the soap, pressing them into the soap wherever I fancy having a little rose. Roses soap 
I'm not gonna lie, I think I may have uh, accidentally just created a Christmas soap. Um, obviously we're still gonna sell it in June, but this may actually make a return come Christmas time because I really like how the top's looking, but I cannot deny that it reminds me of a kind of frosty, crisp winter's morning. Let's come back tomorrow, chop it up and see how it looks on the inside. See if it is still reminding me of winter. So 24 hours later and we are back with the soap, which is still giving me wintry vibes. We're going to chop it up now. I think I'm going to chop this one on its side today because of the glitter. I don't want the glitter being dragged through the soap, so I think we shall go for some sideways cutting. Just sort of lining it up and shopping. Obviously some of these roses are going to be cut through, that is to be expected because they are bigger in diameter than the bar. So we will have some roses that have been cut to be expected, but let's pull out a bar now and see how the inside is looking. Ooh. So the first bar out, and as you can see we've got quite a nice swirl going on, it is a very pale blue, um, perhaps would have been nice if it was just slightly darker, but I'm pretty happy with that colour to be honest, it's not far off what I was hoping for. We've got the top of this one here, so we've got one of the larger roses, one of the medium roses and uh, a couple of half bits of rose buds there. Let's pull out another one and see the kind of different tops that we get. So this one here, again we have got the swirl, but the top design is completely different. This one we have got more of the tiny little rose buds and some of the little kind of vines that I piped, but we haven't got any big roses, but again still a pretty top design. Let's hold them together. So there they are together forming the design and then when they are cut and separated we have got two very different but equally beautiful tops. So these are the limited edition iced roses soaps that will be available on our website from either June or July. To be honest we may actually give the June limited editions a miss and just go straight to July because we are a little bit behind um, with everything at the moment so most likely we're probably looking at July for these being realistic. If you do, do like them you can find them on our website here and you can use a discount code to get 20% off. Obviously they won't be on there at the moment because it is not July at the moment but when it comes to July that's where you're gonna find them. If you enjoy our content please do hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment and give us a like if you enjoy today's video. We look forward to seeing you next time and enjoy your weekend. Bye! Mm -hmm.